without a college degree, you cannot compete. You're not going to be able to compete. And you probably know by now, it's a buyer's market for employers. They've got a lot of bright kids to choose from. Scott Gerber is the founder of the Young Entrepreneur Council and author of Never Get a Real Job. Uh, now, you say the liberal arts colleges in particular are failing students. Um, why, do you, why do you think the kids are graduating with four-year degree in liberal arts and they're just not ready here? There's a huge skills gap in America, there's no question. So you have a lot of students that are graduating in majors that maybe 10, 20 years ago were very viable, that today they're just not. An English major today is not getting the same quality of graduation to employment that their predecessors did. It's and we just know the fact. highest paid English major, uh, English degree holder, is someone who writes for technical technical material for STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math. Correct. The reality is, is we need to start putting more practical parts of education into the liberal arts system so that if you literally come out with an English major, you know how to start a tutoring service, whether that was your dream or not. So this is the entrepreneurship part of it, right? Absolutely. Because um, a lot, I mean, and I've said before that I think that every college should have required entrepreneurship. I mean, when I went to college, you were required to take a library course, mm -hmm. right? Think how things have changed, how far we've right? Come. Exactly. So, what about an entrepreneurship course? Because you're not necessarily going to get that employer who's going to hire you for 30 years or invest in your training. 100%. So, the first thing is to say that, you know, in YEC's national survey with Buzz Marketing Group, we found that over 50% of young people never ever received any entrepreneurship education courses, period. Yet, over 90% said this is something that we found to be viable. So, there was no access. And that was a huge problem. So, here's something that we do in this country we give people as much student aid as they can possibly hold for whatever major they're going to have, right? In Florida, the Governor Rick Scott is actually proposing like freezing tuition for some of the in-demand majors, mm -hmm. science, technology, engineering, math, and then letting tuition rise, public school education rise for all of the other ones. Should we, the government, be doing more to steer people in places that the American economy needs? I certainly think that there is some element to that that we should take on, right? So, for example, if we know that there's a better ROI in certain fields than Return others. Return on investment. Exactly. <laughs> then, then we absolutely should say, okay, well, for the economy, and for the good of the culture in general, we should start to educate people about the, the advantages of having these incentives to go towards STEM, towards chemical engineering, towards entrepreneurship, versus some of the majors like journalism and others that frankly just aren't as viable. What was your major? Uh, I was a film student. That's really? the irony. I am not a business guy, and here I am as an entrepreneur. And I'm French in journalism, and here I am singing the praises of STEM, but I do think you have to be able to communicate, and you have to know about history, and you have to know the liberal, mm -hmm. I mean, the liberal arts and the sciences and the technology have to go together with entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. That's the only way we're going to compete.